Yo, what's going on guys? It is TMK and I'm basically just going over every implant that was released with Camp Bellcrest. There's a lot of them, so I'm going to get straight into it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the name because kind of having to say ERR for every single one in this video is going to be kind of annoying. But first off, ERR, Experience Implant. Uh, so these type of implants are really just uh, alternate versions of the Tier 1s. So this one has plus 2% EXP gain, minus 1% incoming damage reduction. Uh, the tier 1s just have the 1% EXP. Uh, ERR Rage Implant, 2% damage inflicted, minus 1% incoming damage reduction. ERR Agility Implant, 1.5% uh, movement speed, minus 1% in the surge speed. ERR Survival Implant, plus 2% incoming damage reduction, minus 1% movement speed. ERR Forager Implant, uh, minus per, uh, minus two percent incoming damage reduction and three percent in all looting categories Okay, and this is the start of like the tier two alternate versions, I guess uh, Plus four percent exp gain minus two percent incoming damage reduction uh, Next up the violence four percent damage inflicted and the drawback on these are minus two percent incoming damage reduction ERR hyper implant plus three percent movement speed minus three percent surge speed err iron skin implant plus four percent incoming damage reduction minus three percent movement speed err salvage minus seven point five percent incoming damage reduction but ten percent in all looting categories and then this is the start of the tier threes um ERR X Perception Implant, plus 8% EXP gain, minus 4% incoming damage reduction. ERR X Violence Implant, 8% damage inflicted, minus 4% incoming damage reduction. ERR X Hyper Implant, plus 6 movement speed, minus 5% surge speed. ERR X Iron Skin Implant, plus 8% incoming damage reduction, minus 6% movement speed. And the last one, ERRX Salvage Implant, minus 15% incoming damage reduction, but 20% into all looting categories. <clears throat> so, that is it for those. And I can get into the stuff I really wanted to talk about. Um, so, Dawn Implant is now the Dawn Warrior Implant. It's got two uh, alternate versions. Uh, Dawn Scavenger, 15% into cash and ammo. 10% to uh, armor and weapons find chance, 5% more loot spots, and 15% surge speed. So, definitely a good looting one. Uh, Dawn Guardian, there's not a lot to this one, just plus 15% incoming damage reduction and 5% to the movement speed. Nothing crazy. It's probably the least exciting one there is of the three. Uh, introducing the Pioneer Implant. I'm going to be giving away one of these later, maybe this week <clears throat> or next week. 10% EXP gain, uh, plus 7% movement speed, and the first two have plus 20% chan chance to find misc slash blueprints. Uh, these two implants, the Feral and the Oculate, I don't know if I said that right, but these are from the vendor over at Camp Velcrest. 10% damage inflicted, plus 5% incoming damage reduction, plus 2% movement speed, minus 50% surge speed. So, not all around good for any build, because that 50% surge speed, minus 50% surge speed, is kind of annoying. It is good damage, and you would think it'd be nice to carry around an everyday build, but it's not. <laughs> um, the Oculic Eye, minus 5% damage inflicted, but you're getting 25% uh, ammo, 75% cash, 25% armor, same for weapons, and 10% chance in misc and blueprints. <clears throat> but all around, th together they're 100 mil, so they, they have a heavy price tag if you want them. Um, so we got alternate versions or counterparts of these three. The Cat Eye, Infiltrator, and Scorchstone both have credit shot versions. Obviously with some downsides and some better things. So we'll start off with the Cat Eye. The Prowler Implant, 7% speed, 3% damage inflicted. So before, Cat Eye didn't have any damage, just had the 8% speed, and that's that was it. But with this update, they gave it 2% damage and 
they made the credit shot version 1% less speed and 1% more damage infiltrator you got 7% damage inflicted 20% chance to find weapons and 10% search speed the challenger implant has 1% less damage but 2% more in find weapons chance and search speed Scorchstone implant oh my god uh, plus 6% exp gain plus 8 damage plus 2 speed <clears throat> its counterpart 1% less exp so 5% uh, 1 less percent damage but it has 2% more speed so this one speed or damage this one definitely the better looting one this one for more damage if you really want that and then for speed obsidian all the way because you know two percent is way better than just two or two percent more is better than just two percent uh and then the last one uh just got an update today volatile devil implant six percent damage inflicted used to be five ten percent incoming damage reduction that stayed the same and then six percent movement speed and it used to be five so it got a nice buff today so that's pretty much all the implants with this update. It's a lot. This video was way too fucking long, but I did so much talking, I'm losing my voice. But, yeah, guys, uh, that's a lot of new stuff. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.